Uh, one of my viewers alerted me to a great tool that is now free. I can't believe it's free. Um, this is something called Microcap, and it is a spice emulator. So there's always been a bunch of spice emulators around. Um, LT Spice has been around a long time, and it's always been free, I believe. Um, so you probably, if you've done any spice, you've probably done it with LT. Microcap's been around since, well, it says here 1980. Um, I remember Microcap back in 1980. Um, I think you had to type it in with text, and uh, it was quite painful. And um, I don't remember if it was originally free or you had to pay for it. I, I, I don't remember, but I do remember playing with it back in back in the 80s. Haven't really kept track of it since then, but I guess it's become a really really powerful tool. I think the last version of of uh, Microcap sold for four thousand uh, five hundred dollars, so it was a it was a very a reasonable tool. Um, but for whatever reason, um, they're either getting out of the business or they are not going to develop it any longer or whatever. They're giving away uh, Microcap version twelve for free, um, and. So the way that you get this is you go to their website. It's not Microcap. It's called Spectrum Software, um, and their their website is Spectrum Dash Soft. Um, but if you just Google uh, 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 Microcap Spice, if you just Google Microcap, you might not get it. But if you put in Microcap Space Spice, um, you'll you, you'll find it. And go to the download uh, section, and right here, uh, Microcap 12, uh, uh, just click on uh, Full CD, and you'll get a zip folder with their entire suite, all the libraries, everything. So, so go do that. Um, and here's Microcap running. Um, this is the schematic for the DIY op amp that we um, put together and went through. So this should look very familiar. Um, I went ahead and typed it into Microcap. Now I am no spice expert at all. I've played with it just a dozen times. Um, I'm not any of an expert. I'm not going to teach you how to do spice. I'm not going to teach you much about anything. I'm just going to kind of show you some of the capabilities that this thing has and encourage you to go look into it. If you want to learn Spice or you want to learn Microcap, go on to YouTube. There's probably a dozen guys um, teaching you how to use this thing. Um, but Spice is a, is a simulator. It's an electronic simulator. So you put in the schematic and you don't just put in generic parts. These parts are actually modeled. So if we uh, like click on this transistor, it comes up and it says model 2N2222A. So that's the transistor we were actually using. Um, here's that uh, PNP we're using, a 3906, that's the actual, actual part that we're using in it. It has all of the data for that part um, simulated. Uh, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, even the diodes are 1N914, so it's really amazing. Anyway, so you type in the uh, schematic, connect it with lines and everything. And then you need to put in some voltage to make it work. So I put in a DC voltage source here of 12 volts and a minus 12 volt here. So it's running on a plus minus 12. And then for the input, I'm, I'm putting a sine wave generator. And the negative input, I have feedback around to uh, make it a gain of 2. So 1K, 1K, we're taking half of that. So this thing should run with a gain of 2. So once you get this thing running, you can do several things. Um, there's some buttons up at the top here. Let me see if I can find those. Yeah, if you click this one. Hello. Uh, let's see. Click this one. And why isn't it clicking? Hmm. That's not right. Uh, maybe I need to do an analysis. Maybe I needed to do analysis. We'll do a transit analysis here. Um, okay, maybe it needed one analysis before it can do its thing. Yeah, okay, so I click on, on this button here and it tells me all the voltages on all the nodes. So here we've got minus 12, here we've got uh, uh, 
12. Uh, here across the dyads, we go from 12 to 11.5 to 11.098. So those are those voltages that we measured. You can look at the voltages across the resistor. Anyway, it gives you all the voltages. You click on this button, it tells you all the currents. Well, that's pretty cool. So across this resistor, we should have about 100 microamps, and it's got 97.357 microamps. And across this uh, current source, we should have 100, I mean, uh, 1 milliamp, and it's got 1.019 milliamps. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you can look at a bunch of other things. Um, but let's get rid of these. Uh, oh, it's kind of confusing. Here are the microamps. So one microamp and uh, 100 microamps. Okay, and then you can do analysis. You can do something called a transient analysis. And a transient analysis is basically what we would think of as an AC waveform, an actual or an actual real-time waveform. It doesn't have to be AC, it's just real-time waveform. And I'm going to be looking at this node here, node, node 8. That's our input source. And node, if I highlight one of the, if I just kind of hover over one of the lines, it says node 17. So we're going to be looking at node 8 and node 17. And so down here you can see node 8 and node 17. So node 8 is a sine wave, and I have it set up for a 1 volt sine wave, and then the output ends up being a 2 volt sine wave. So we saw that on the oscilloscope. Um, so this is showing you that it's actually doing what you think it's supposed to do. Um, you can do a really cool thing Let's see here, transient exit analysis. I can do a probe analysis. And a probe analysis is going to be the same thing. I'm going to take my cursor, I'm going to click on a node, and it's going to show up over here. And I'm going to go over to the other node, I'm going to go to the output, click on that, and we get that same graph. But then I can look at other nodes too, so I can click on this node. And I can see an intermediary node there. Click on this node. Anyway, it's like an oscilloscope, and you can just run around and you can clear it anytime you want and say, I want to look at these two nodes. Well, there they are. They're the same signal, only offset by two diode drops, right? So it's really cool. It's like having an oscilloscope, having a workbench. You don't even need to own electronics. You just build it up here, insert spice, and you can do all this analysis on it. So that's pretty cool. So let's uh, close this analysis. Uh, let's see, how do I do that? Uh, how do I close it? Let me just kill this one. There we go. Okay. Um, the other thing you can do is a mm, frequency analysis. So how does this thing operate at DC? How does it operate at 1 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, 100 kilohertz? So that's called AC analysis. So if we click on AC, I'm going to have it go between 10 and 10, let's see, 10 hertz and 10 megahertz. And it's going to tell us the dB gain of the system. So because we have it set up for a gain of 2, it should be a 6 dB voltage gain. So we should have a 6 dB gain, which we do. This goes to 7.5, this scale. So that's 6 there. In fact, if you highlight a point, it's a 6.038 <laughs> at 45 hertz. So then come along here, look at different places. So it's a log scale, so we have 10 hertz, 100 hertz, 1K, 10K, 100K, 1 megahertz. So at 1 megahertz, we're at 5.8 dB. And then it's going to fall. And when it goes down to 0 dB, that's when we say the op amp is done. That's its bandwidth. It can only go to 3.48 megahertz. And then that's the 3 dB point, 3 dB in power, 6 dB in voltage. Um, so this is a great plot. I don't remember if this is called a Bode plot. Uh, I think it is. But um, this is the plot of the op amp. And you can do cool things while you're here. So we can look at this C1 uh, capacitor. You wonder, well, why was that C1 in there in the first place? What, what does that really do? 
So you can click here and I can, I'm going to set it to zero picofarads. And I'm going to go back and oop, instead of our 6 dB going down, it goes up. So this tells an electrical engineer that this thing's going to oscillate here. It's going to have positive, positive uh, gain uh, out here at a, at a few megahertz. And this thing's going to oscillate wildly. So we have to roll this thing off so it doesn't oscillate. So we can go back to our circuit. We can say, oh, okay, maybe I need, um, maybe I need five picofarads. So I'll put five picofarads in. And uh, I got a little better. So we'll come back here and say, oh, okay. Uh, 15 picofarads. And you can see that we're sort of damped. It rises a bit. It's almost like calibrating a scope probe. It's rising a little bit and then falling down. So it's not quite rolling over. It's not quite stable yet. And so uh, we can go here. We can say, okay, I'm going to put in uh, 0.1 microfarads. Uh, oops. Uh, I didn't do that right. I needed to click on it. 0.1 microfarad. Let's see what that does. Whoa, now we've really rolled off the amplifier. Now it'll only go out to about 100 hertz and then it starts going down. So if you wanted to slow down your amplifier, that's a great way to do it. But we want it to go fast. So we're going to go back and we're going to put it, I think I used a 33 picofarad. I think that's the value that I had in my junk box. So let's look at 33 picofarads. Yeah, and that looks pretty good. Uh, the 3 dB point now is at 2.5 megahertz. So that's that's really good. Um, so if you like you're designing uh, audio amplifiers, you don't want them to go too fast. You might want to roll it off, you know, maybe in here. Uh, maybe you put in, uh, let's say, a 220 puff. I'm just guessing. Oops. 220 picofarad. Yeah, that's nice. It's rolling off at uh, around 200 kilohertz. So anyway, um, this is this is Spice. This is the microcap, and um, great tool. I'm going to use it a lot <laughs> now that it's free, and it's really really easy to use. It really is. I mean, I just downloaded this last night. And this is now what I can do with it. Now, of course, I've used it before. I've used Spice before, but I used it 30 years ago. I haven't touched Spice for 30 years. So um, it's not that hard. Uh, there's probably great YouTubes that teach you how to do this. And if you're just doing simple things like this, um, I think you can get up and running really, really quick. So I encourage you to go out and get it and, and uh, learn more about electronics.